Coming back to the sand hills of Nebraska, I tell you, this is one of the most overlooked, one of the most tremendous hunting destinations. Doesn't matter if it's whitetail or mule deer, it's dealer's choice out here. You got a license, you could take either one. And quite frankly, the area is just full of both. Not a bad deer, huh? That's not a bad buck. We figure three and a half? Uh, Maybe. Probably three and a half. Yeah. Uh, he's acting pretty aggressive, boy. Damn, he's gonna be a hell of a nice buck. He's a little bit young. That is going to be a smoker right there. But it's not just the sheer volume of deer out here, it's the caliber of those bucks that are coming out of here. There he goes. On around the corner chasing that doe, isn't he? Yeah. God, it's just great cover. Yeah, you know, this country just geologically is so interesting because it's a giant ancient seabed. It's giant sand dunes that have really the progression now is prairie. That's really what you have. But it's very rich out here. It's producing tremendous numbers of deer. And it's, it's just a, it's such a fascinating environment because it's so unlike most places that you're hunting deer. The endless undulations of the sand hills mean that it's not unusual to crest a knoll and be within rifle range of a mature buck at least for a few seconds. So we eased up and sure enough, this buck just jumps out, he's crossing, and I'm looking at him at broadside, I got the crosshairs on him. Get a deer like that, he's in range, he's broadside, he can make that shot, it's borderline. Not yet, Chris, not yet. Nice deer, but not, not the one. Oh, look at that buck. He's a three, isn't he? Wow. He's a three on that, three on that left side. Oh, look at that. Man, give me another year, give me two years on that buck and he is going to be a buster. All right, stop and look back at us now before you go over the hill. You said I gave you my look back already. <laughs> Seen enough of you. You're gonna see my tail lights, that's all you're gonna see. That was fun. Close encounter. What a place. And what you get here is you don't get one of those kind of encounters in five days of hunting here in Nebraska in the sand hills you get those daily. You get multiple experiences like that in almost every day. So to me, it's, it's just such a rich, rich hunting destination because of the experience of all the deer that are here. That's just great country. I love coming out here. I mean, it's always good, to, always good to hunt with you. You know this land like the back of your hand, so I see you go through these nooks and crannies and stuff going, nobody would know about these places unless right. they were out here all the time. Right. You know? That's the key. The hunting license here is just dealer's choice, isn't it? It is. You can take you know, mule deer, you can take white tail. Yeah, the and, license is good for either one, and, and you will more than likely encounter both on oh the yeah. same hunt. Yeah. So when I come out here to the sand hills, I'll take either one. A good deer is a good deer. I don't care if it's a white tail or a mule deer, but I always come out here knowing that there's giant mule deer out here in unusual country, so I kind of, you know, secretly hope for seeing a great mule deer first, so I don't have to make that decision of passing a whitetail. But you can have a great experience no matter what. One of the bottoms are bigger of the two, I think. He's not even looking at us. No, I don't. Pretty 10. Beautiful deer. I mean, you're looking at these deer going, most people would, would absolutely give their, their little finger, at least, to, to hunt those kind of deer. He's three and a half probably, huh? Yeah, he probably is, though. It's amazing what you can get in two and a half years out here. Yeah, that's a beautiful buck, man. He's a little bit young, though. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, no, he's not a shooter yet, but he's going to be a dandy. There he goes, working up the hill. Following that door up around mm -hmm. the corner there, isn't he? That's pretty impressive, even. You can get deer that size in two and a half years. Good food, good genes. What's not to like? So we just looked at these deer and, and watched them work over the hill. Not too yeah. spooked. That's on. We're gonna just keep working down, see if we bump something out of here. Let's work on down through this, this thick grass. This is why I come to the Sand Hills. Just amazing experience, amazing volume of deer out here. And again, the potential to find really tremendous bucks. Well, it's good country down there, isn't it? That whole thick bottom. You can see about a mile and a half down <laughs> there, Chris. <laughs> I was gonna say. I see bodies way down there. I can't make them out. They're awfully far. Yeah, that buck's just hanging out down by the cover, right on the edge, waiting for that doe to come out. Not a bad buck. See him on the left, isn't it? Mm-hmm. All right, we got a closer mule deer to the right or a distant whitetail? Hmm. I think we'll go look at this mule deer first, okay? All right. Well, what I love is is you just don't know what's going to be around the next bend. I you mean, really don't. I mean, it's almost like hunting in Africa to some degree because you, you, you know there's critters out there. There's going to be opportunities. You just don't know exactly when and how big. Right? Yeah, that's yep, the exactly. that's the magic of the whole thing. Well, 
let's see if he's over the hill here, huh? Might be a quick shot. There are you. We came up right over a little bit of a knoll and there, you know, 40 yards away, oh, up pops beautiful mule deer. Here he comes. You tell me. Wait. Oh, that's a pretty buck. Yeah, that's buck. a pretty buck. Oh. Full four by four. Yeah. Pretty deep fork, but kind of light. He's, he's, kinda a little, light. he's a little young, isn't he? Damn, that's and a pretty so, buck. Let that one go, okay? <laughs> oh. So I just kind of held off, and I'm glad I did, because quite frankly, he was he was a good deer, but he was going to be a great deer. You give him one more, yeah, that's going to be a, that's gonna a be lot a, of those nice bucks buck. like that. Oh, well, uh, let's keep looking. There's better deer than that. How does that go? I can resist anything but temptation. <laughs> Damn, that's a tough one to turn down there. He's pretty, though. I've seen your big guys out here. I know they're here. Mm. All right, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. Jeez. If you don't crop the young of the herd, man, you can take some giants out here, and that's what it takes. It just takes age. They got the genes, they got the food source, they got the cover. Just give them some age, and you can produce some just fantastic bucks out here, which is really the case almost anywhere. Just let them grow up. Well, what do you think? You want to kind of work one of these bottoms down here? Is that the, is that the plan? We got about maybe an hour and a half left. Yeah, they I like. think we can make a, a run down through there. Okay. And what's really the key for this part of the country is the last hour, hour and a half of the yeah. day, is be as mobile and as on the move as you can. Because they're, they're, they're out. The deer yeah. are on their feet yeah. and they're moving. Yeah. We, we did encounter seven or eight mule deer doe not far off the road. You know, I look up and I see a couple of does and I see a buck. Pretty deer. But he's against kind of dark cover, so it's not super easy to tell just how big he is. You lose a lot of definition against that dark background. Well, he, he's actually taller than he looks, than yeah. first thought. He starts walking away and you can just see him laid out, big, beautiful, wide. For antler junkies, the bushel basket form of a mature mule deer rack holds a magnetism that's as undeniable as Cindy Crawford demonstrating exercise equipment. Am I dating myself? I'm looking at that and I'm, I'm thinking to myself, now Lyndon, you know, I've, I've been playing this game for a while. I know you have as well. I don't want to sound too eager here, you know, but geez, that looks like a nice buck. You tell me, Lyndon. So we kind of, go, yeah, that's a pretty nice buck. Well, I, I thought it was kind of a nice buck too. It's like, well, how about if we get serious and go after that buck? He's a beautiful buck. Let's not even hesitate. Can you go up around there? Is there any way to get up there? Mm -hmm. He's getting nervous and he's starting to follow the does and go up over the hill. So the only thing we could really do is kind of work all the way around this hill. It's getting late, we're losing light fast. How do you, can we get down there? I believe right. we'll try to get him on that side hill. We moved the ram on around and got somewhat closer and tried to, tried to get him where we thought he still was. We get up and we get around on the back side and he's nowhere. I don't see him. Where is, you know, we're, we're looking around thinking, geez, did he blow out of here? I, I can't imagine. There's does right down here yet. We find him, he's a half mile away. He's been hightailing it ever since we lost sight of him down at the bottom of the hill. Son of a bitch did he book. I just went driving in the direction I thought he might have went. Well, he, that's the direction he did go, and he was still, he was still kind of spooked and on the move. He's going up another big slope. He's got his does with him. He's the top right. He's now pushing 400, 450 yards away. I get down on sticks and it's all systems go, trying to get an exact read on just how far he was. Hold it, they're on the move now. If he stops, we'll try him. He turns. Every shot I take on game seems a culmination of all the previous shots on game. Hits, misses, calculations, a rush shooting position, wind doping, deliberate breathing, trigger control, Success breeds success and is only earned with time and patience. Boom, I shoot. I can hear a smack. I mean, I, I could tell he's hit. That ought to be enough. He's down, lights are out, and that's an absolutely epic buck. And it's incredible to me when you think about how much time you spend looking at all this country, looking at these deer, Next thing you know, you shoot and it's all over. That's the name of the game. <laughs> That's a beautiful buck, man. Wow. I tell you what, Laid that is a huge. beautiful buck. Wow. Incredible. Well, we wow. got him, buddy. <laughs> we did. Good job. Go. Good job. Let's go get him on. Still got some light, all huh? right? Let's do it. What an incredible encounter, huh? Last light of the day. Wow. That's a poke out there. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Look at this guy. 
Oh. Why, why did we hesitate for one second on him? What a beautiful buck. Look I don't at that. know why. Enormous brow times for a mule deer here. Wow. That is just a dandy. Look at that. Oh, beautiful buck. Wow. Just look at that. Get the kicker off of here. How cool is that, huh? Dude. <laughs> well done, man. Just way to go. Gosh, good to be with you again. Yeah. Last yeah. light of the day. Last light, yeah. Incredible. You're living right, man. <laughs> That's so rubbing off. So are you. <laughs> <laughs>